America's labor shortage is approaching epidemic proportions, and it could be employers who end up paying, according to several reports, that um, the amount of people looking for work is less than the number of jobs available. Now, a report was made on Thursday by the ADP and Moody's Analytics that shows that there has been a great deal of difficulty filling 6.7 million job openings in the United States. Now, a lot of these jobs range from the from lower to higher end. Uh, there is a shortage of truck drivers, according to the same report, and that this shortage of labor even extends so far as Silicon Valley, where much more highly skilled labor is being sought after. Private payrolls grew by 177,000 in June, a respectable number but below the market expectations. It was the fourth month in a row that the ADP Moody's account fell short of the 200,000 after four months at or above that level. Now, Mark Zandi, a chief economist at Moody's Analytics, said this about the situation. Business's number one problem is finding qualified workers. At the current pace of job growth, if sustained, this program is set to get much worse. These labor shortages will only intensify across all industries and company sizes. Now, what economists are expecting as a result of this is that there's going to be pay raises. Uh, there's going to be training and other costs and incentives in order to try to get workers to come into these jobs. In other words, when there's a labor shortage, the price of labor goes up and then companies have to do more to incentivize people to come and work for them. But now they're worried that the costs will get passed on to the business, which means instead of cutting into corporate profits, they're just going to raise the cost of goods and services that they provide. Now they say this is going to lead to inflation, and inflation is already at 2%. And this is, uh, this is really bad, particularly considering that the price of a lot of things are going up as a result of Trump's tariffs that he has placed on uh, particularly steel and aluminum, which is, you know, which are highly important for manufacturing. So what we have here is a labor shortage is going to increase prices and what we're going to have is it made even worse by the tariffs that Trump has placed on the economy. Now, Jim Baer, the chief investment officer at uh, Plant Morin Financial Advisors did have this to say. How much might rising labor costs chew into corporate profits? How much will be passed through to customers in the form of higher prices? That remains to be seen. Rising labor costs will boost take-home pay, but we're also likely to see that effect in rising prices for goods and services. Now, this should be noted, of course, that this is a part of the contradictions of capitalism, that the market, when it's allowed to function as it does, is inherently self-destructive and undermines itself. This is why this is one of the reasons why capitalism is inherently uh, crone to prices. But what we also see here is a great hypocrisy. The market is so great when it benefits businesses who make higher profits. But there's kind of a problem with the market when it works in the favor of labor in this situation. Now the market has to be manipulated somehow, like uh, increased immigration into the country. Now, I'm not opposed to immigration. I'm pointing out how the capitalist class actually sees immigration and why they do the things that they do. That's important to understand why they work the way that they work and that to understand really the context in which the entire immigration issue is is actually taking place in. And I think that's uh, of, that's very important to, to keep in mind here. So that's really what it, capitalism is a great hypocrisy when it comes to the market because it's so great when it works for it, but then they have to manipulate it when it works in the favor of labor. And guess what? Those who own capital control capitalism, surprisingly enough. Now, what this shows is that as a result of this, capitalism can't be reformed. Many people will argue, well, this is why we need to get the state out, or this is why we need to put a maximum wage to prevent these kinds of things from happening. And then you have a struggle between labor and capital. But that doesn't show that the current system doesn't, that the current manifestation of capitalism is somehow flawed or not working. It shows how capitalism itself is crisis prone and riddled with contradictions that undermine itself. And this is, this is a perfect example of that. Not just the hypocrisy of the capital class, but how the system inherently undermines itself but through its own internal contradictions, which is something that Marx wrote about very extensively. 
So let's, let's look at this, understand this in the context in which it takes place, and understand the complaints that are being made by the capitalist class. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.